presentation. Thank you. Okie doke. Take care there. Peter. How you going, mate? I haven't seen you for ages. No, it's about time we caught up, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> well, here we go. Um, First of all, congratulations on all these. I've only been to a few of these, but those great submissions, particularly yes. like the one about the Arts Centre, of course. Um, kia ora tato, ko Peter Bekaho. Um, I appreciate the really hard task you guys have got in delivering the LTP and the level of the rates rise, whatever that may be. I just want to reckon on the fact that we all live in a really troubled world. Things are, you know, we seem to be stepping deeper and deeper into tragedy, and people are getting angrier and angrier with one another all across the world. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's resentment, there's anger, there's frustration, for some there's dis despair. It's a terrible world to be living in at the moment and we've got to do something about it. We all know that. And we also get mirrors in our own community, like here in Christchurch, the same thing goes on. And I guess you suffer from that too. You get stuff online, you get all the other things that go on. Pretty awful. We've got to do better than that. Well, there's a lot of controversy about the art centre going on at the moment. I mean, there's a media furore, what seems to be... To be honest, it seems like increasing animosity between the different sides in this debate. And I don't know which is the right way to be. I don't know what the right way to go forward is. But there are accusations of misinformation, ignorance, and all the rest. But what I do know is what our Foreign Minister, Winston Peters, said at the dawn service in Gallipoli when he used the words of Churchill, George Orr is better than war, war. It does feel like a bit of a war is going on around this particular issue. I'm sure you've got lots of other wars that are going on too. I encourage then that council staff, councillors, art centre, trust and management actually get together, sit down together in a, in a space together and together give themselves the time to find a way through this rather than sort of throwing rocks at each other, which seems to be happening at the moment. I am sure these you are all sensible, wise people. There's a lot of expertise on all sides. Get together and try and work through these issues and difficulties because, and then come to a solution that will benefit the whole city, and particularly for those of us who care about the arts centre. Now, as to that, how we make our decisions in these areas, any of the areas, is always influenced by our values, what we believe in, what gives meaning, value, and purpose to us. Well, the art, by act of art, a parliament, the Arts Centre is set up to foster and promote arts, culture, and creativity. I'm told that the job of councillors is to provide a healthy environment, thriving families and business, safe places for all, and a culture that supports every individual sense of belonging. And the Arts Centre is a jewel in our crown in, its, in, in all the issues around providing what is it that gives us meaning? What is it our heart? What makes us human beings about being human? So you've read my little bit, because I'm a priest, you've got a bit from one of our great uh, mystics of the 14th century, Mother Julian of Norwich. Put your mind into your heart, she said, and stand in the presence of God all day. Well, you may not believe in God, but you get the point, I think. Stand in the presence of the things that give value, purpose, and meaning for us as human beings. It's about being human. Well, the best and even at the worst of us, we all yearn for meaning and value and purpose. And that, in its essence, is what the Arts Centre is all about and what it seeks to do and be. That, of course, is also what the Cathedral in the Square is all about. And that's another issue we've all got to face as well, as we know. It's by its very sense of presence. It's where the heart and mind of our city and its people come together. Most of all, it's highly successful restoration of the Arts Centre, to, the, to its importance to the visitor to our city, but to all of us. We're proud of it. We're glad it's there. We want it to not only survive, but to prosper, and it does. So, gentlemen and ladies, please do not neglect your responsibility to care for what is an essential part of the heart and soul of our city, the Arts Centre. Please restore the grant, or look at the other ways in which you can work together with the Arts Centre Trust you people and those people getting together and working out, don't throw rocks at each other anymore. It doesn't help. It really doesn't help. Thank you. Thank you. As any questions of Peter? Hi. Yanni, Hi, Yanni. Well, thank you. Um, you. You talked about not throwing rocks, um, which, which is great. Um, just wondered if you had any thoughts on the cathedral as well. <laughs> maybe, maybe stones or something. Well, of course, you'll find me as a former dean. Yeah. I, continue, I talked in my time as dean as the cathedral is the heart and soul of our city. I still believe that. And I, and I don't know what the outcome is going to be or where we're at at the moment. It's a tragedy that we're in this position. You may remember that it, actually the diocese wanted to pull it down. And it was a pushback 
from the city and from the heritage people that has got us to this point. Well, I'm backing that. I'm a cathedral champion, trying to raise lots of money, not getting on very well at the moment. Doing quite well, actually, doing quite well. But uh, so what's going to happen out of that? I don't know, Yanni. Uh, it, uh, uh, there's a, you know, it could be put on hold for a while or whatever. But I actually believe that, and I said at the time when I was dean, when, uh, when, to, when the former mayor and I were out in the square together, uh, I said, the heart of our city has been broken. We will restore it. And I really don't believe that the city will actually truly rise again until this cathedral in the square is restored. It's, it is an amazing place. We're doing tours around there at the moment. And the, 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 the level of interest and heart that's in the people that come round. They have their memories, they have their hopes, they have their aspirations. Uh, the, the prayers, the laughter, the tears that are soaked into those walls over all these years, we can't let that go. We really, really can't let that go. I have no idea how they're going to raise all that money, or between us, or whatever, but I think it's an essential part of who we are as a city, as is the art centre. Thank you. Thank you very much, Peter. Pleasure.